Hey guys, I got the Hobbywing Axe 2300 in this thing and a fresh pile of dirt. Let's go see what it's got. Take a look. Let's go ahead and give this thing a quick speed run on to us. And that's with a stock pinion gear. I believe it's a 14 tooth that comes with it. That's actually moving pretty good. I'm kind of curious what this 3S is fixing to do with it. <laughs> Okay, 3S time. Okay, let's see what it's got. <laughs> All right. That's the fastest I've had my camper going right there. Now, driving this fast, the uh, 70 weight oil I've got in these shocks is a bit much. Going slow, they seem to work good, but not so good for high speed. Need to thin out the oil and let the axles move a little bit. Oh well, let's go to the rocks. Well, let's see how it goes. I can already tell it's quite a bit faster. And I can already tell you this system would benefit from that smaller pinion gear. And it's got the stock pinion gear, like I said, so it's about 14 tooth. And it is quite a bit faster already <laughs> yeah I definitely need some lower gearing it's going to crawl it's going to do its thing but yeah Now I've tried to stay away from brushless with this thing just because I just really wanted to keep a truck brushed and I'm probably going to go back brushed with it except I'm going to go with a uh, really nice Holmes motor. I think it's one of them uh, Magnum Pros or something like that. And you can definitely tell that the axe is doing its job here. It's uh, Adding the torque, getting things going. Oh, let's try something. All right. Uh, let's see if this is going to even work out coming in like this. This is one of those tricky ones, man. You got to get just the right line. Could probably use that dig feature, couldn't I? Which I'm not using for some reason. Get some crawl. There it was. And there's that belly catching up again. I'm gonna have to fix that. I know the aftermarket's working on it, but come on guys, I need a belly. Try another different line here. tire is just not happening at all. Tell you what, that hobby wing's got some pep to it though. I'm not really used to. Oh, 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 it got up on it that time. Not really used to this kind of pep though. All right, now, so I'm get up here, use that little edge right there along with some big. That isn't working well right now. There we go. So yeah, I can tell you right now, if you're going to run an Axe 2300, you might want to pinion down a little bit. All right, so this is that dirt that was dropped off today. Not really a whole lot of it, but at least it's some dirt. And let's just go ahead and see what we got. <laughs> Softest landing ever.
All right. <laughs> Again, I am not used to the uh, axe here. Let's see if I can get another jump. <laughs> That's the softest landing ever. Okay, I'm gonna try to hit that little bit right there and somehow bounce up onto that ledge. Let's just see how this works out. That did not work out. All right, let's try it again. Got it that time. You know, this is kind of fun. I somehow can <laughs> That was nice. See if I can do that again. I gotta say, I really like the speed of that. The 2300 with the stock pinion really woke it up. I do think it can do a little bit better with an 11 tooth. I think it'll give a little bit more control, even though the axe is actually pretty darn controlled as it is. So, although I am gonna go back to brush, I think I'm gonna try a Holmes Magnum Pro, I think it is. I, I've gotta look at that. But um, for now, I think I'm gonna leave the axe in here just for a little while longer. Guys, in the description, there are links to everything in this truck. And as always, thank you all for watching.